let's take a look at Spade Coco. Um, so I'm here on the project page, um, or the model page inside of Runway. Um, Spade Coco is, uh, there's two versions of Spade. Um, there is one that's called Spade Coco. We'll talk about why it's called Coco in a minute. There's also another one called Spade Faces. Uh, so Spade uses what is called segmentation maps, um, which is another type of input. So we've looked at in image inputs, looked at vector inputs, um, text inputs, those sort of things. This is a uh, segmentation map, which is, for all instance, for all like purposes, is a version of an image input. It's just it's a, a very particular type. So you actually see here um, on the gallery like a great example of sort of what happens here. Um, also, what's really interesting is I realize this is backwards or something. Anyway, <laughs> um, what you what you make for for these spade models is you make a color map, right? So you basically make outlines of shapes. Um, those shapes get uh, mapped to like a, so this, like you can sort of see this like pinkish, um, purple chalice gets mapped to a chalice, right? Or a glass or something. Um, so what you're able to do is then you're able to basically draw these shapes, which are pretty easy to draw and it converts them to photo realistic, semi-realistic images. Um, and that's really helpful to understand because then it's sort of like you're drawing simple things and getting out complex photographic things, right? So that's sort of the idea behind, um, spade models. So the spade faces model, which you could find if we come back here really quickly, um, spade face, um, learn more, uh, is allows you to draw face segments um, and generates images from that. Um, and of course, it looked like there was another one, which is spade landscape. So spade coco, coco is uh, a, a data set called coco stuff. Um, it is just about objects and like those sort of things. Um, so the landscape image is all about, you know, during images and landscapes. Um, so we're gonna look at Coco in this video. I might record another video that'll do faces and landscapes later. Um, another thing to notice is uh, if you dig around through the various links that are available in, um, in Runway, you'll end up on uh, the Spade page. Spade is a model made by NVIDIA, um, one of the big graphics card makers. And they've got a bunch of other examples of how their uh, system works. Now, some of this isn't uh, actually doable within Runway, so you'll see this thing called stylization, stylization using image guides. I don't believe image guides are available within Runway, um, but you can sort of see like how they are doing a lot of this stuff, right? So there's some image mapping. You, know, you can add a mountain, and it magically adds a mountain, different types of uh, tree lines, like those sort of things. So let's go ahead and actually look at how to do this inside of Runway. I'll go over my workspace here. Um, just to save us some time, I already went ahead and drew some shapes because I didn't want you watch, to watch me draw for a while. Um, we're just going to run this. So uh, there's a couple of things to know or a couple of things to work with essentially within Runway. So the first is, um, while this gets started up, uh, over here on the right hand side are all of your labels. So these are all of the different things or the, all of the different stuff you can make uh, within the Coco stuff version of Spade. Uh, of Spade. So see, there are um, stop signs. So I drew a stop sign here. Um, there is a cat somewhere in here. So you can go ahead and search. So cat is this color. There is another one that I believe is called uh, sky, sky other. Um, and that is this blue. And then obviously grass is this color, right? Yes, grass is this green. So. Um, Inside of Runway, you can actually just go ahead and use these colors built in, and they have a built-in sort of drawing tool, right? So uh, there's a brush, there's a fill, there's a brush size, so I can come in here and make this a little bit smaller, and then I come in here and just make little blades of grass. And you'll see that they start to get um, drawn in our image down here, right? So if I make this a little bit more even, you can sort of see this is not my best looking cat, um, this is not my best looking stop sign, but they exist, right? So um, let's so let's see if there's a plane. There's an airplane, so I'm gonna click this, um, and you're gonna watch me draw a hilariously bad airplane. Okay, I don't know why my uh, my screen restarted. So anyway, uh, I magically drew a airplane. Um, you'll see it represented down here. Um, clearly, these are not the best illustrations. I actually personally find the Coco stuff one to be sort of the messiest one, whereas the faces and the landscape ones are a little bit clearer about like you know how to draw certain things. Um, but this is sort of how it works. Uh, another thing to know is that, um, and we'll look at this in a different video, is uh, Runway does have a Photoshop plugin. 
and that Photoshop plugin will allow you to do maybe some better drawing or like other sort of drawing tools. Um, and then you could send the segments to uh, Runway and get back the image. So, um, you know, I will say like I find the, the drawing tool inside of Runway to be a little funky. Um, but if you just want to play with it and sort of see how it works, you can do that. Um, I've seen, um, I think I, I'll, I'll link to a video of what Fabin Rashid has done. And he's actually made like an iPad app that like allows him to draw in, in like P5.js on a web browser. And then it will um, talk to Runway and like bring back images. So it's a pretty cool uh, way. There's lots of opportunities to do like really interesting things with this. Um, this is not my forte because I'm a terrible artist. So uh, this doesn't really work for me. Um, but for, for some of you, this may be really, really interesting. Um, so we'll look at a bunch of these other things in other videos. Um, we're also going to look at uh, doing segments uh, in another way. So right now you're seeing segments to images. We're also going to look at a model called Deep Lab that does images as segments. Um, unfortunately, those two don't match up that well, and we'll talk about that in uh, another video. But um, this is a great uh, first start for Spade Coco. Um, ah, so one more thing I forgot to mention. Um, we talked a little bit about where to get the like uh, the Photoshop plugin or whatever. Um, there's also a way that if you want to generate your images like outside of Photoshop or using like P5 or some other tool, um, and you just want to figure out what colors map to what values, um, there is a nice little tool here uh, all the way under the labels. So if you access out, there's a little button here right next to labels that says export colors. If you click that, you're going to get a CSV file. And when you export that CSV file, and you open this. No, I don't want to open this in numbers. Uh, let's just open this. Let's see if I can. Oh, there we go. Whatever. Um, all of these uh, labels map to a hex value. So again, if you are going to implement this in some other tool, you can take these values um, and make sure that they match exactly. It is really important that they match exactly because if they're off by a little bit, they're, you'll run into a bunch of errors. Um, but just wanted to add that this. Uh, this feature exists and you can grab these labels from somewhere. Um, okay, now we're done. Uh, thank you so much um, and I'll talk to you next time.